Inflation fears grow. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because we're going to have a look at an article which is discussing well, the growing, well, growing trend of inflation or fear surrounding inflation. What it means that everyone is talking about inflation. So before we do that, I thought we'd have a look at just the inflation or the trends that are occurring on Google search for inflation. Now, this is worldwide and you can see it has definitely grown and it's definitely peaking compared to recent times. Now, you can see the different regions. Some African countries, unsurprisingly, are worried about inflation. Some South American countries are worried about inflation. The US, Canada, Mexico, most of Europe, Australia, everywhere. But China, it's not even picking up in China. But I guess you've got to understand these are English search terms. So it's still there in Russia as well. Now, if we have a look here. These are related queries with regards to inflation. You know, cost inflation index for financial year 2021. Inflation rate for South Africa 2021. We have a jump back here. We can see South Africa is getting a bit a bit high. I haven't looked at what the Rand conversion rate is to the dollar. Last time I checked, it was like eight Rand to the dollar years ago because we you know we have family in South Africa. The 2021 inflation rate, it's a breakout. Uh, talks inflation 2021 4200%. Inflation 2021 in Deutschland 3,800%. So you can see all around the world, more and more people are worried about inflation. I've done so, the, we've looked at these trends in previous videos for how to buy gold, hasn't ticked up. How to buy silver, hasn't ticked up. How to buy Bitcoin, how to buy Dogecoin. To the moon, everyone, it's ticking up. Now, here's another thing that I, I have to show you. I probably shouldn't, but I have to show you because this is going to be uh, introduce some people to a other part of the internet that they may never have seen. Now, I, I looked at this related topics. What, 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 what does Sonic the Hedgehog have to do with inflation? You know, exchange traded funds. Okay, that, that's interesting. That's a, up 170%. Hedgehog or hedge, not hedgehog, hedge. That's up. Okay. Commodity inflation hedge. Those are all up. So all of these make sense. But this Sonic the Hedgehog video game series up 1,350%. Just, uh, I typed that into a incognito. So just, just type that in. And uh, I wouldn't suggest you do it at work, guys, because there's a whole other world of the internet that you may not have been exposed to. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was quite funny. There was a guy, there was a, like a video game, an inflation uh, game with the Sonic characters that someone did a playthrough. And it... it the playthrough is hilarious. The video game is a bit disturbing. So, you know, more the more you know, guys, the more you know. So let's, so let's have a look at this article, everyone. So what it means that everyone is talking about inflation, the morning briefing. So inflation risks are priced into the market. Everyone is talking about inflation. We've seen that. All, we've seen this trend data. Normal people are. And of course, that includes investors. According to Bank of America's monthly global fund manager survey published last Tuesday, higher inflation is now the consensus. And furthermore, inflation is now again the biggest risk for markets. As initially identified by 35% of the survey's 194 respondents who manage a combined $592 billion worth of assets. Translation, investors are worried about inflation. We can see here inflation and bond tantrum, coronavirus. This is the evolution of global FMS biggest tail risks. We can see uh, what they're saying. Trade war, uh, president election, quantitative tightening, political populism, uh, China hardlining, geopolitical crisis, uh, China hardlining, fiscal cliff, and EU sovereignty funding. So it shows you what it's just all changed, what people have worried about now. Or inflation, we haven't seen it since for some time. But if investors are broadly concerned about inflation, it suggests stock prices are likely already reflecting these risks, and investors have discounted or priced in inflation risks into the market. While it may not be a perfect analog, it's worth considering what happened during the early stages of the coronavirus pandemic. In March 20, uh, March 17, 2020. Bank of America's Global Fund Management Survey identified coronavirus as the biggest tail risk, and it remained on the top of the list for the next 10 months, 
as data consistently and persistently reflected an economy in a state of emergency. But the S&P 500 bottomed on the 23rd of March 2020. In other words, the market had priced in the coronavirus recession and discounted the pandemic's worst financial impacts by mid-March, but this risk still remained the consensus worry among investors for another year. The threat of inflation is the most known risk in the markets right now, and so investors should consider the likelihood that the downside of inflation has been priced in. Unlike recent cycles, we acknowledge that inflation tail risk is higher and that inflation data could get hotter before normalizing, J.P. Morgan's Dubravac Larkos Barrios said. The outcome, at the same time, is getting increasingly priced in, as essentially every investor we have spoken to in recent weeks is well aware of this backdrop. According to Google, search interest in inflation is at an all-time high. The University of Michigan's recent survey of consumers revealed sentiment got dinged in May due to unusually elevated concerns about inflation in the years to come. On the corporate side, a record number of S&P 500 companies have discussed inflation on earning calls as executives just can't stop talking about higher costs. Whether or not inflation actually becomes a major problem for the economy will only be known in hindsight. And despite folks arguing that recent upticks in prices represent transi transitory concerns and reopening quick, this debate is likely to rage on for months, especially as high-profile skeptics sound alarms. None of this is to say the economy won't take a hit soon uh, should hotter than expected inflation come to fruition. But the stock market may look past this event if it does indeed arrive as investors look towards a better future. Also remember what we often see stocks rally when things are terrible. Indeed, we just did. So if we have a look here, what is what is the outcome for this? What are the solutions? And the questions I've put to the viewers is, are you worried about inflation, everyone? I did a poll asking people if they're worried about inflation. And I will just bring this poll up here and we'll see that it's a 12 hour old poll. So I just did it yesterday. And we'll do a refresh. We'll do a refresh to see. 1400 votes. 79% of viewers or people just randomly getting this poll appearing on their, their mobile said yes, they are worried about inflation. 10% said no. Uh, it is tr uh, any inflation is transitory. And no, deflation is coming. So 11% think they're not worried about it, and we're actually heading into a deflationary environment. Now, the transit with some of the comments. Our fiat currency is deflated. I've been feeling it lately, according to Corey. Printing fiat currency to inflate the debt bubble and covering the distressed sales using eviction bans and mortgage deferrals. Uh, free, for, <laughs> free for not working and spending on products and services, creating inflation to bring in more revenue for government taxes and other fees. Um, Nixie Moog, inflation is the issue, but not the concern. Interest rate hikes are the concern. Raj Blake, if you think that dumping $30 trillion into the world's economies in less than a year isn't going to cause inflation, I have a treasure map I would like to sell you. So I'm sure you can all measure, uh, message him for that treasure map, guys. Uh, Valerie K., if things were rosy, YouTube and other media would be void of so many channels on how our inflation future actually sucks. Well, yeah, I mean, negative news is what attracts people. People are looking to it. I find some ways people seek out just their bias that they're looking for. They want confirmation bias. That's the danger with social media. You can get into or even any, any of these echo chambers. You can just search for the things that validate your position. It's... Something I, I'm trying to in, to uh, appear as, and be as balanced as I can to try and look at both sides. You've got to worry about that uh, that concern. That's one solution I would suggest is to make sure you've got a diversity of methods to protect you from inflation or deflation. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Trojan the dog. Hyperinflation is just one step away from a comet strike or super volcano when considering civilization ending events. Uh, I sound like an old person, but honestly, there are issues with uh, pay. Cost of living has gone up a lot in 10 years. For me, I make decent money, but don't be fooled. I do decent hours. I make double what most people do, but also work twice and many hours. Simple maths. 
But people think I'm well off or had handouts. They don't see the constant hard work. Not everyone wants to work these hard hours. So even for me making good money, the costs are getting out of hand. We are scaling back our business to be profitable as we find as we grow due to the nature uh, we profit less. I've noticed that too. There's a, there's a, I remember one of the first things I spoke to when I was a student working for an architectural practice, uh, the boss told me they didn't really make any money going from what 10 people to 30 people it was just more overhead and hassle just that growth so you got to get in that sweet spot i was talking to a, a mate of mine i actually had a peer on my phone you know his rent's going up 150 a week so he's moving and i, I want to do another video just looking at the inflation in rent and that's just driven by a lot of southerners coming up here to queensland it's just going crazy everyone so king billy my overall shopping has increased by 30 dollars at the moment but I get the feeling that it's going to get worse. The value of the dollar is becoming less valuable. Well, we recently bought, we recently bought another a half beast of of beef, and it's gone up. It has definitely gone up in price. Now we're still, we're still, uh, I think a dollar cheaper per kilo than what we were paying at the posh butchers. We, when we first started doing this a few years ago, buying meat and pork, we went to the butchers above our shop. And they were, you know, a trendy butcher. Uh, so it was all a little bit more expensive there. So we're finally catching up to that price with the more cost-effective butcher we're going to at Rock Lee. So don't worry, mate. You guys are now being led to believe the inflation is coming. But in fact, there, in fact, there is no inflation at all. You're completely suckered in by the banks. Well, uh, I don't think if me... Well, I'm noticing meat prices are going up. People are noticing rents go going up. You know, petrol is going up. That That's kind of inflation. So, uh, you've not really provided enough options. The options are steered towards the obvious public consensus on such things, which is, of course, usually wrong. Uh, no, there's, it's a yes-no question. No, no. Uh, it's only transitionary. It's going away. Or no, you, deflation's coming. <laughs> Maybe you don't understand the question. So... Yogi Bear, if we keep subsidizing childcare and not counting land value, uh, then we can keep hiding inflation. Well, yeah. Andrew is more worried about the authoritarians in this country, to be honest. Yeah, well, that that's, seems, to be, seems to be growing. It's a growing trend here in Australia. Stuff costs more, and it's the stuff you like. Thanks, Team Heiser, from Steve. Well, here you go, edited three months ago. Very interesting question. It's like asking, are people going to get fat from lockdowns because of re restricting movement? And having cheap fast food delivered available, or skinny people because um, skinny because people will be cut off from Centrelink after the great stock market and housing crash in history. What is our health and wealth heading? Right at night, the universe is expanding. Uh, we live on a planet with resources that are not expanding. Well, yeah, technically they are because our ability to access resources is expanding. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of resources that we can access now that we couldn't have in the past. Even just the, the increase in the value of gold and silver and iron ore means certain parts of a mine will become feasible that won't. So it does expand. It, it's you know the the alarmists will claim that the earth is so finite and we're going to use it all up, guys. There's a lot of it there. Okay, we'll we'll be fine. Don't don't worry. Don't panic. Um, here we go, babe and uh, bye. Can't seem to recall any general angst about inflation during the mining boom, other than from the RBA, but it was certainly present then. Current inflation is mainly in asset bubbles, which will unwind by themselves, and supply chain related, which will work itself out. Our biggest concern at the moment is how much Main Street banks have lent out recklessly, Main Street as opposed to Wall Street. And Daniel Andrews worshipper doesn't really worry about it. Let's have a look here. Anything else? House prices will go up no matter what. Watch Mike Maloney's Hidden Secret of Money, Episode 7. A big deflation will force government to go huge and give us that much money we will all spend up like never before, then watch the inflation. I mean, that's a good series that I recommend you all check out. And what else here? I'll just skip through a few of these. Define inflation. I think it's worthwhile dumping fear for real stuff sooner rather than later. Depends on how, on how it's being measured. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um... All this money printing is going to come back to hurt us badly. You can see inflation in everyday life, but it's only a matter of time before it blows up. So, 
once again, guys, most people, at least who've answered this survey, uh, 79% are worried about inflation, 10% say it's transitionary, and 11% think deflation is coming. Now, you've got to understand, this 1,400 people, it's a decent number of respondents. You'd be surprised how few people are surveyed on a whole lot of polls around the country that get reported in the media. But sure, we can't control this for, for location, but we are, we're talking about this from a worldwide perspective anyway. So there we have it, guys. Are you worried about inflation? As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. Sign up for Self Wealth or Stake. Use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. Buy a merch from Heiser Says. Use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.